Laika was a stray dog in Russia. She was selected to be sent into outer space. The aim was to learn how long a dog can last in space. With a rapid breath and pounding heart, Laika rode a rocket called Sputnik 2 into Earth orbit on November 3, 1957. Frightened, overheated and cramped, she gave her life for Soviet Union involuntarily. This was a suicide mission because the satellite was not destined to bring her back to Earth. Here are the top 10 tragic facts about Laika and her story. Number 1. She had no home. Laika was found on the streets of Moscow, a stray that, like any other dog, just wanted a warm home, a steady supply of food and perhaps some love. Unfortunately, strays were sought out by Soviet Union for their space program, as dogs were easy to train and therefore easier to prepare for space missions. The reasoning behind this was that stray mutts had already endured a hard life of little to no food, poor environmental conditions, and physical ailments. And as such, this would make them tough enough to handle what space could throw at them. Interestingly enough, Laika was not the first dog to head up into orbit, as the Soviets did send Albina, who made it halfway up into orbit and back safely. If Laika didn't pass training, Albina would replace her. Another dog, Mushka, was used to test the life support system that would be given to Laika during her trip. But unfortunately, the space program was too hard for her, and she eventually became so terrified that she refused to eat. All of these dogs were strays and had no home but the empty streets. Number two, Laika was destined to die and they knew it. The Sputnik 2 was not built to withstand coming back down into Earth's atmosphere and therefore could not re-enter the atmosphere safely. The scientists within the Soviet space program knew that Laika would not be making the trip home and was expected only to spend a few days alive up in space. This sparked outrage amongst international press as campaigns cropped up in an attempt to stop the mission from going forward, as the mission was deemed as animal cruelty. The Soviets did not understand why everyone was so outraged, as they were sending her up into space for the sake of humanity, and they even reiterated that Soviets loved dogs. While Albina was the first choice for the mission, she was kept back as she had already done her job, and Laika was sent instead, because they knew she was going to die. Number three, they rushed the mission. The original plan had Laika coming home, and the Soviets even told press outlets that she would be comfortable, would have everything she needed to survive, and would return home safely. Sadly, the original plan was changed, as Nikita Khrushchev wanted the satellite launch to be used in conjunction with the 40th anniversary of the Bolshevik Revolution. To put it bluntly, the entire Sputnik 2 launch was used as a propaganda piece, and in order for the satellite to be ready in time, it was to be rushed. So, the original plan was scrapped, and scientists had to come up with a spacecraft capable of sending Laika into orbit within four weeks, which meant that all traditional designs of rocket technology were thrown out, and with it, Laika's safe return home. Number four, cramped training in small spaces. Sputnik 2 was a tiny satellite, no bigger than a washing machine. This meant that Laika would not be able to turn around and would only be able to sit and lie down, facing in one direction. To get Laika ready for the tight space that was Sputnik 2, she was transitioned through a series of smaller and smaller cages. She would be left for up to 20 days at a time in a small cage, then pulled out and immediately placed into an even smaller one. A side effect of this was that the dogs who were being trained in this way would refuse to defecate and would then become constipated, which required the use of laxatives. Eventually, the dogs would adapt, but only because they were forced to stay in these cages until they knew nothing else. Number five, Laika had one good day with a scientist's family. Dr. Vladimir Yazdovsky had been working extremely closely with Laika during the last four weeks of the training leading up to the satellite launch. Because he was the one who had plucked her off the streets, trained her, and chose her to go up into space, he wanted to do something nice for her on the day before her journey. So he brought her back to his home to let her experience what life would have been like as a domesticated dog. His family played with her, fed her, and loved her. On launch day, Dr. Vladimir Yazdovsky's family came to the launch site and said their goodbyes to Laika, knowing that she would not come home. Number six, a terrifying experience for Laika. On launch day, Laika was placed in the rocket that would send her up into space, but there was a malfunction that needed to be repaired. This repair took three days to fix 
which kept her grounded in the spacecraft in freezing cold temperatures. She was unable to move, turn around, or exercise at all, as she was chained in place. When Laika was eventually blasted off into space, she panicked and became terrified. Her heart rate spiked, racing at three times the normal rate, and she appeared confused and stricken with fear. While her heart rate did eventually calm down when she became weightless, it would never return to her normal resting rate. Number seven, her death was brutally painful. The Soviets claim that Laika survived several days in Earth's orbit, only dying when she ate the poisoned dog food that had been prepared for her. However, in 2002, the actual truth of her death came out when Dmitry Naleshenkov revealed what her fate was. According to him, Laika died within the first seven hours of orbit during her fourth circuit of the Earth in extreme pain. This was due to the temperature control system malfunctioning, causing the shuttle to heat up past 40 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The extreme heat caused her to panic and her heartbeat to rise rapidly. Number eight, she disintegrated. The Sputnik 2 spent five months in Earth's orbit, only to fall down into Earth's atmosphere on April 14, 1958. When it entered the Earth's atmosphere, it streaked across the sky at an incredible speed turning red and detaching itself along the way. As the capsule was torn to pieces, Laika and her spacecraft coffin disintegrated as it rushed towards Earth's ground. Laika's body was never recovered. Number nine, Mushka died an explosive death. After Laika's death, Mushka, the control dog that was used to test the life support system for Sputnik 2, was sent up into space with a few other animals. These included guinea pigs, plants, mice, rats, and other dogs with a mission to study the effects of radiation. When the rocket was to come home, the system used to slow the rocket malfunctioned, causing it to fall off trajectory. The Soviets had no way of knowing where the rocket would land, and they feared that it would land in American hands. So the Soviets used the explosives on board and detonated the ship, killing Mushka and all other animals on board. Number 10, the mission didn't provide enough valuable information. One of the scientists who was involved in Laika's mission stated that he was so sorry about it that they should not have gone through with the mission and that they did not learn enough from it to justify her death. While Laika did prove to the world that a living thing could be sent into space and survive the trip, the entire endeavor serves more as a symbolic gesture than a scientific one. In the end, the Soviets just wanted to be the first to have an animal orbit the Earth and it ended up being a tragic tale. Four years after Laika's journey into the stars, Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space who would come home safely.